another level. I'm on another level. I'm on another level. I'm on another level. I'm on another level. Welcome back. It's the Next Level Living Podcast. Y'all, we your favorite podcast, favorite podcast. That's a fact. I mean, number yeah. one podcast amongst anybody who like podcasts. That's a fact. It's that type of podcast. Y'all, and I'm back. I got my people with me, K Hart, Jay. And y'all, of course, if you here and you was tuning in last week, you know we got a special guest, our sister, the amazing Jessica Lundy. Come Jess, on. are you doing good? Oh, yeah. I'm doing <laughs> extraordinary. Jay, Jay and Kay Hart, are y'all feeling all right? Yes. Let me tell you something. I'm ready to jump into this episode because <laughs> it's only so long and we have so much to cover. All right, so let's... M- but let me just say this. If you didn't watch last yes, week... Yes, Jay. Stop. Stop. Listen, no, for real. Don't you play yourself. If you're on YouTube, go back and type in the previous episode. Yes. If you're listening to it, like pause and go up one because mm. you want to catch the foundation yeah. of who she is. She's a giant yeah. in this space, right? Mm-hmm. Anointed, powerful. It's so much depth. We got through the first one. It was like, we got a whole bunch of questions. We ain't got past the second question. Back. So tap in with the first one if you missed it and then come back to this. Yeah. That part, that back. part. And y'all, before we get started, because we all excited, we just want to give some special shout outs. K-Hart, oh, yeah. take us into that, please. Oh, yes. Shout outs from the Speakers Academy. Uh, first, we're going to talk about Chris Singleton. <laughs> He did 15K in one month. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's pretty huge. Yeah. And last year, he at our conference. Um, oh, by the way, uh, June 23rd to 25th, go and put the flyer up. And so with all that being said, last year at last year's conference, Chris Singleton won Speaker of the Year. And he killing it. $15,000 in one month. Living a life of purpose. Come on now. Talk crazy. about it. Crazy. Yes. And okay, next we have Nate Evans. My dog. 34K <laughs> in two months. Now, if y'all not good at math, that's that's what, like 17K a month, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. 16. My gosh. Amazing. Yeah. How much, Jay? 17. <laughs> Jesus. I was just making sure you was on point. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Favorite subject, English. Yeah, Lee. He corrected the 17 to say 16. I was like, whoa, you used to sell what? That okay. boy was giving away. So let's you just oh, okay. sabotaging. Oh, sorry. Dang, <laughs> man. My bad, bro. I'm so excited. Crystal, go back. Nate right. Evans. Nate Evans. Yeah. How much did he do in two 34K months? 34K. How in much two is months. that per month? 17K. 17. Thank you. Wow. Average of 17K a month. So yeah, so so shout out to Nate. <laughs> yes. Who just had a baby? <laughs> who just I, had a I, baby? I need the jokes. Yeah. I'm so proud of him. Mm. And uh, Nate, man, let me tell you something what's special about Nate and our community, just so you don't love this. My man texts me at least once a month a prayer. Wow. He'd be like, hey, bro, I just want you to know, man, you covering us always. Like, I got you in prayer. I hope you well. Praying for you, your family. Boom, boom, boom. May God be with you. I'd be thinking like, bro, you good. He you different, good bro. with me. For sure. He ain't got to do that. Yeah. But he like, yeah. bro, I honor you, man of God. Love you. Just checking in. Hope you well. You ain't this. He, his thing is like, mm. this going to be mutual. Oh, yeah. Reciprocal. Yeah. You yeah. ain't about to just be loving on yeah. me and mentoring me and shepherding me and blessing me and my family. You know, mm. we sending gifts with baby blood, all that. He's like, bro, I'm praying for you too. So yeah. he got a different type of heart. So I'm not surprised. My well, man do $34,000 in two months. And guess what, Mike? He just getting started. Just getting yeah. started. I don't think Nate 34, maybe, maybe. He might still be in this. Right. I don't know. Like, yeah, I know yeah. he ain't nowhere near 42 like me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and yeah. I wasn't doing $34,000 in two months mm-hmm. 10 years ago. Anyway, and shout Nate, out to them, man. Y'all know we're going to hit y'all every week. For, for a while now, right? Yeah, he's been with us for about two years. Yeah, he's been okay. rocking. He's been winning. For sure. Yeah, he's been That's winning. That's nice. All right, y'all. Shout out to y'all, man. We love y'all. We are so supportive, and we love what y'all doing, man. It's time. Yeah. Jay, let's get back to the episode. K Hart had a question she was talking about, I think, last one before we cut off. Yes. Can okay. you please tap it? Start us out with that. Should Come. I recap? 
Oh, there you recap. go. Recap. And, and then, then go, I'll go or into should that. you go and I recap? Go ahead and re- okay. recap. Okay. So let me tell you, I can't just talk about how dope you are. Yeah, all, right, yeah, all, right, all right. All right. All right. So at the age of five, <laughs> she knew she was destined for greatness. She knew she was supposed to be on broadcast, television, radio. Like she knew that by the age of 15, she started her own company. And in her, I'm guessing, 20s mm-hmm. is when you won that big competition. Yep. She beat out 1,500 people that was trying to win this position to be like the news anchor there in Detroit, like a top 10 market. She beat out 15,000 people, showed up hours early to the initial audition and then had five other auditions after that mm-hmm. as they began to trim it from, I imagine, 1,500, 300, the top 30 people. But then on mm-hmm. top of that, she actually rented out separate and paid money. Yeah. You want people to invest in you, but are you investing in mm-hmm. yourself? She paid money to rent out special studio places to do like mock, yeah. you know what I'm saying, news anchor woman, like type of stuff, like yep. this next level, and then she it was wins her own it. stage crew. Huh? Yeah. And what's her own stage crew? Oh, her own stage crew. Mm-hmm. She climbed up the ladder, setting mm-hmm. up lights and stuff like that. And then guess what? She wins. So now she the know everybody in Michigan know her. She's celebrity. Every mall she go to, every restaurant, people see her, want to take pictures. And then God says, move to Atlanta with no guarantee. And so she got faith. So she did that. She began to speak. God said, you got a message. You see, I'm listening. Yeah, 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 you got yeah, a message yeah. for this yeah. world. You spoke, y'all, I created you to bring hope and inspiration. She traveled the world making six figures, absolutely killing it. With her, her husband that built is something special. And I want to talk about Mike in this episode too. But when it's all said and done, she came to our conference. She sowed a seed within us. And we're going to talk about how she ended up joining the team. Yeah, go yeah. ahead, Chris. Okay, so that's, that's what I'm just, interested that's, that's in. That's just high-level cliff. Like, Don't get you twisted. went to the conference in 2021 first, right? And then you went to 2022. And it was like, how did he even know you were available? Had y'all already connected before? Did, did he know you? Like, what was that connection like? And how did he, how did you get here today? It's so interesting you say that. Mm-hmm. You know, I think, and I, t- I tell this to all my clients. Like, mm-hmm. when you go to a conference, you should have a game plan. Mm-hmm. Like, not just like, I'm going to go and learn some stuff and connect mm-hmm. with some people. Like, that's basic. Yeah. Like, I go with intentionality. So, once I won the award, I was mm-hmm. like, okay, mm-hmm. there's something there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then the amount of women that reached out and was like, I want to coach with you. I want to do this. I want to do that. And I was like, man, do they see me? Mm-hmm. Like, do they see me? Mm-hmm. Like, do they see the value that I could bring? And I remember, I'll never forget this, because David Shands was speaking, and, and, I, and I'm a huge fan of his, right? Same. And I was so excited he was there. Yeah. And Holy Spirit was like, it's your time. Get up. Find Coach Crump and tell him what you want. Mm. And so now, I now, had tell a what David Shan, now, tell him what David Shands said during this presentation that stuck out to you. I'm not going to lie, I don't remember. <laughs> he said he he said something like, about re- refresh my when memory. You, something like when you connect with the people, <laughs> like when you're at these conferences, see how you can yeah, add value ex- or let them know. Absolutely, like, yeah, 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 that's yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. what he said. Mm-hmm. Yep. So he was talking about adding value okay. and also like taking action, right? There we go. Yeah. It was taking massive yeah. action, right? Yeah. And so when people talk about taking action, it sounds good, but people are like, well, when I get home. When I'm comfortable, I'm going to take action. You're, you're not. Mm. You didn't forgot about it. That you got part. back to your regular life. Right. Yep. And so I was like, no, nah, I'm going to get up right now. Mm. And I was like, I know I'm going to miss something, but I don't want to miss something. Yeah. Oh, you about yeah. to piss me off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, Jessica, because you looked yeah. at me in my eyes and I felt it again. Like, I right, felt it the right, first right, time, right, right. but the eye contact was like, Mike, don't you miss? And I was like, I did not. The Holy Spirit did that, yeah. but I did not want to miss Something you sacrificed something in that moment for what you knew you couldn't miss. Yeah. Please, because he could have said he probably said stuff of value Jeez. that would have been beneficial mm-hmm. to my business. Mm-hmm. I believe he was talking about social media would have been beneficial to my social media, right? <laughs> but I was like, I can't miss my purpose. Right. And so I remember going on the hallway. Now, mind you, I didn't know who Crump was prior to the day before. Right. <laughs> So I was like, uh, trying to find him. Hey, I know I don't know you like that, uh, but I know you with Jay, and I'm just trying to make something happen out of nothing, right? right, right. I said, but I need to let you know where my heart is. Mm. And so we going back and forth, and he like, well, let me tell you about the conversations we didn't have. Mm. And I'm like, oh, y'all do know who I am. Uh, oh, wow. All right, I'm just going to put it out there. I said, I don't know what's available. I don't know how I can. He asked me a question. He was like, do you want to serve or do you want to be on the team? I said, I'm going to be on the team. Straight up. Right. I know. I'm going to serve yeah. with the position. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, yeah. serving is a byproduct. Like, yeah, I'm going to do sure. that. Right. I was like, but put me on the squat. Right. Yes. 
And I was like, it'll be the best decision y'all make. I Ooh. promise you, you're not going to regret that. And at the same oh. time, we were looking for another coach. And we had already talked to the team, like, it needs to be a female. And we had a few names that were floating mm. around. But what really impressed Crump was how you stayed behind after the conference when everybody was breaking down and setting up and stuff. And you were just ministering to different women. And you were praying and you were interceding. And he was just like, oh, she different. You wasn't like, here's my business card. Let me do. You was just like, okay, what you need? How, how you feeling? What's your job? And he was just like, okay, she's on brand. Yeah. And I had already seen your gifts, your talents, your skills. I had already checked your heart. I knew you believed in what we did. I was just like, man, this is special. And I saw the way. Here's what stuck out for me. This was your interview. You didn't even know it. When you were on stage, and man, thank you, Holy Ghost. And you got the award and you was like, yep, yeah, but y'all see how cute my branding is and my picture and video and all of that, but it's my husband. And you began to affirm your husband. You began to shout him out like he's the one that make my website look so good. He's the one that makes my um, my pictures and all that look so good. Like he's the talent behind it. Like he's the one that presents me. And I, I saw that and y'all know we big on family. Yeah, yeah. We big on marriage. I was like, oh, she on brand. So when it came up like, bro, we looking for somebody. I met with Jessica, she down. It was literally... No question. Wow. And it was it was something done. Can I talk about that for a second? Yeah, come on. Yeah, because I feel like, especially like as speakers, um, you see the speaker, right? Like you see the actor, you see the actress. Like as entertainers, people give us so much glory and praise, so right? And so the award bank is we like, like, give honor to God. Like we just give God like a five second shout out, but he didn't save right, our right, life, right? right, 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 right we don't right. have to go to hell now. Like he deserves more than that, right? <laughs> right, 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 right. But then spouses don't really get acknowledged, right. yeah. yet they're the ones building us up. Like people always use the word giant when they talk about me. Where'd that come from? Mm. Who's building me up on a daily basis? Ooh, Who motivates the motivator when Come I don't on. feel like getting up or I'm Come tired on. or there's things that I need to work on? He's very intentional. Yeah. He'll be like, you going to wear that today? <laughs> that ain't going to work on camera. You're going to have to switch. On, yeah. You're going to have to switch that out. <laughs> right. that a truth that comes from a loving source. Yes. A I'm, truth you can trust. Absolutely. Mm. Before I put stuff in the marketplace, he's already seen it. Mm. So yeah. when everybody's getting a standing ovation, he's not surprised because he didn't heard it before. He didn't see the sacrifices, so to not celebrate yeah. at the same time of receiving, yeah. I want people to know this is a joint effort. Yeah. Like there's this whole energy of self-made. Like I'm not self-made. Yeah. Like I'm God-made. Yes. Come on, right? Yeah. And then yeah. God put me in alignment with a spouse who gets me right. because I needed a helpmate. Yeah. Like I knew that I was created to serve at a high level and to lead at a high level. Yeah. I needed a husband that was humble. Yeah that was willing to support me in the ways that I needed to support. He wasn't a photographer before we met. What? Okay. He All wasn't right. a videographer before okay. we met. We got married, and in six months, I said, hey, look, I want to have my own TV show. I'm about to buy some equipment. You think you can become my creative yeah. director? So then he had Bro. to put the work in to be what I needed, and so many people that are single say they want to be Married, but are you willing to submit? Because he was a big time actor in Detroit. Mm. Like he was in Eminem. He was video. in front of the camera. Mm. Like he's been in award winning movies that are still talked about. Like the Ben Carson story. Like he's been in big stuff himself. So mm. he put his career on hold. I'm like, let, let me see right? your face. <laughs> right. Come into the light. Yeah, he's been in a ton of stuff. Like <laughs> and he never talks about himself. He never, never. You know what I'm never saying? is like, in the self-promotion. Like he's always been into building my brand. That's his number one priority. Wow. And everything else is like a bonus. Mm. Right? And so now he's in this season where he's able to do more stuff and elevate people's personal brands as well, but that happened so organically because I believe God was watching and said, you're going to be good to your wife and you're willing to sacrifice in this season, so now I'm going to elevate you because you're humble and pure That's, at heart. I love it. Me and, uh, first Ooh. of all, y'all, I'm not married, so I'm. So this is coming from a very humble place, but me and can we, can we really get behind being able to still be a man and push that your significant other forward to stand in the background and let let your woman have the spotlight as you stand securely and lift her up so that you all can be a giant together. And even though she may be acknowledged as that, be okay with being her base, her foundation, her support system, and making sure that she feels comfortable and confident as she steps forward, knowing that you got her back 
Even when people think that she might just be a, a, a business all in her one a entity, like knowing being secure in yourself enough to still support her and be who you are, who God has uh, called you to be, even if you're not in the in the limelight initially. Like, can we just can we just make that more prevalent in 2023? Because this, I, bro, like sometimes people just like, oh, I, I'm not standing background for that. Like, bro, I see you as more of a man now than I ever did. Like, and I've never had anything negative to say about you. I've always felt like you were dope from all our, our all of our exchanges. But hearing her say that, I admire you. Like, I admire you, bro, because it takes a secure person who don't need another man's pat on his back to tell him that he's doing the right thing. But see, what, what Mikey got that most people don't have, he got that security within. That part. It takes a secure and strong man to build up strong women. Yep. That part. It takes that, right? And so yeah. when I come across cats, they be like, man, my girl insecure. I'm like, bro, what you saying about yourself? Yeah. It's your responsibility to make her feel secure. Absolutely. It's your responsibility to make her feel protected, to make her feel sexy, to make her feel loved. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To make her, you know what I'm saying, raise her value. Like, that's your responsibility. Yeah. So if she got any insecurities, that means she don't feel secure. That part. So she connected with the wrong one. And so yeah. I feel like for Mikey, Mikey is like, yep, I want to make sure my girl is good. I'm sure with who I am. My responsibility is to protect her. My responsibility is to build her up. My responsibility is to put her in the in the right light. When you look at the virtuous woman, like it's like, yeah, she had it going on, but it's because she was a reflection of her man yeah. Yeah. and all he had going on. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's levels to it. It's levels. Great okay. job, Mikey. Yeah. Cool. Okay. <laughs> I, I love hearing Mikey on the podcast and knowing that he's not right. calling me out my name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. We got two Mikeys. I love it. So, okay. Jess, I got to ask a question. Oh, go ahead, Chris. No, I was just going to go to the next part of this story. Um, now that she, you know, has the position, like, what is, how does that feel with your alignment? What are you doing? Tell us about some of the experiences, you, experiences you've had so far. It's a dream come true. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it really is a dream come true. It's hard to not talk about next level and not get emotional wow. because it's so much bigger than speaking. Mm -hmm. Speaking feels like such a small part of why God connected me with the next level community. I, to take them back a little bit, I literally got hired in May, the, the end of May, mm -hmm. got pregnant two months later. <laughs> I've been married eight years. Mm. Yeah. No, two weeks later. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, husband. On the on the backside. Two weeks later. Wow. End up having my child four months early. Mm. And mm -hmm. God knew I needed a community. Uh, wow. I'm getting these chills. A community it there. Yep. to lift me up. Mm. Right? Mm. Like it, it it was beyond speaking. Mm. So it was like I needed next level. Like I wanted to just provide value to a community. And I have been outserved. You know, I don't hmm. like to be outserved. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't like hey, to be Deanna, out. Hey, that means we're like doing our be, job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah I don't yeah. like to be out loved. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I love hard. Yeah, like if same. I if I let somebody in, like yeah. this is mm -hmm. real. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, you know, I, I feel like I'll never be able to pay you back mm. for what y'all have done for mm. me in this season. And mm. I've known y'all a short period of time. Right. Like, this right. is and a that's a huge time. statement to make. Yeah. So that means that impact is real. The impact is real. And so when we talk about promoting our brand or we talk about the, the alignment with E.T. and Inky, like, this is real. Yeah. Yeah. And this was all happening when I'm literally, like, in the hospital, like, fighting for my life. Mm. The merger is happening. And there's these seasons that you have in your life where I'll never forget. I'm in the hospital, right? Like, literally fighting for my life and my daughter's life. Yeah. And I remember them telling them, but can I still go to DR? Can I still go to the Dominican <laughs> Republic? Like, will I be out in two days, okay. right? But, but God's so good. I remember being in the hospital. And I'm intentional with everything I do. And I said, Lord, I want to make sure that my daughter has the right godparents. Mm -hmm. Give me a vision of what that looks like. And mm -hmm. he gave me a vision mm -hmm. of you walking on the beach, mm -hmm. praying for my daughter. Jesus. He wow. literally just prayed In for her before middle. we started today. Baby Abigail. Yeah. Shout out to baby yeah. Abigail. Yeah. The, love, the love is real. It's so real. The yeah. love is real. Wow. And so God will give you a vision. And so you think. God is connecting you to help you become the best speaker in the world. And he's just so, like, you know, that's surface. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Mm. God's like, I don't do anything surface. Mm. Everything is deeper. Mm. And he was like, your heart is pure, so I'm going to connect you to what you need because you don't even know what's coming down the line. And so for some of you, you really need to look at the people you're connected with. Mm. Right? Because wow. sometimes you're connected to stuff and you're wondering why your business isn't growing, but you're connected to somebody who doesn't have the right heart. Ooh. You're under mentorship, hmm. right? Like I'm so I'm so disciplined at this level. Like I'm so strategic with the people that I listen to in terms of music because I don't want to get baptized in their lifestyle. Mm. They're they're not living mm. clean, and so I can't even listen to their music and that get into my mind and start playing because their heart isn't pure. Mm. That's mm-hmm. the reason the numbers of people making ten thousand, twenty thousand, fifty thousand. They're, they're, they're making this because right. you're pure. Yeah. You know what's so crazy? I'm getting chills, man, because I'm thinking about, Ooh. we rented, um, shout out to my man, Kevin. He owns a company called Just Go Luxury Travels. So he has these luxury sprinter vans. And um, I reached out to him. Shout out to Dr. Nakisha Hammond, my sis. Love you, sis. That's her brother. And he picked us up. We had a speaking engagement. He took us in the Sprinter. We were talking because me and Tracy are about to buy one. And he was just like, he was like, man, you want to hear something crazy? He said, when I pulled into the driveway of your house, he said, I got a call and I got one of the biggest contracts ever forgotten. And they're paying him top rate, like $2,400 $2, a day. And they wanted his Sprinter for like the next like 40 days. This is like $80,000, but he's just like, this opportunity came right when I pulled into your driveway. And so just hearing you say that, I really believe like, Mm. man, the people who are in alignment with us, the people who bless us, like you put yourself in miracle territory. Like my life is a miracle. It's like everybody that's in alignment with us end up getting blessed. And so Mm -hmm. when you say that, it's just, I'm seeing how it's all coming together. And now I'm seeing you in the hospital and y'all fighting for your life. You're going through the process while the merger is taking place. I can imagine how that's giving you some hope. Like, man, we got Inky on the squad now. Like, man, I'm going to be traveling with ET, sharing the stage with the number one motivational speaker in the world. This thing is overwhelming. And let me talk about it too, because in the same way of it being hopeful, I also, for a moment, the enemy tries to come in when big stuff happens. Come on. Mm -hmm. And so they're at that moment of like, dang, like, are they gonna move on without me? Because he'll get you, he'll get you at the heaviest. Yeah. Like when you at your lowest, even though I felt so secure in my position, it was just like, well, you're gonna be in the hospital, you got this going on, you got this baby, and it's this, and they gotta keep going on with business. And then it was like right when that happened, you sent me a text, like, hey, we can't wait for Abigail to be on stage with ET and all this stuff. And I was just like, thank you for affirming me, God. Thank you for allowing me to not entertain those thoughts, because those thoughts of foolishness come in at your weakest moment. And so it's important to know it's not you. And just let me say, those thoughts are not foolishness. Those faults are intentionality of the enemy. And a lot of times you feel guilty for a thought you didn't bring to yourself. Mm. Now you're responsible for how you react to it. Do you and keep so, it or reject it? Yes, exactly. Right. You can, Absolutely. And so you you faced it and you felt it, yes. but you didn't you didn't worship that. You no. didn't embrace that. You you sat there and you was like, you know what? I'm not holding on to that. And when he reached out, it gave you the peace of saying, God, I knew that this is what where I am. You know what I'm saying? So don't ever feel guilty because the devil's job is to make you second guess what God has already promised you. Absolutely. So he's going to continue doing that. Yes. And when you feel that, just remind, God, I know who you said I am. You take this thought away from me. You take this because even though the devil didn't bring it to you, as long as you keep meeting that re- with resistance, God is going to continue to keep showing right. up. And I'm just, not only am I so proud of you, staying faithful to your process, I'm so grateful to be able to be alongside with you in this journey. You have no idea how these last few weeks and our conversations that we've been talking about, just me, myself, and my personal journey and things that I've been committing to in terms of my surrender and my and sacrifice and then wanting to be uh, in alignment where God has me and then all of us, of course. But you just being faithful to that It speaks to the level of our community because our community is a group of individuals being faithful Mm -hmm. and surrendering to ourselves. Mm -hmm. The reason why I get so excited about the conference, and I'll only speak for about 20 more seconds, one of y'all can take it from me, is that I know that when all of these people come together I've never seen, 
are people that had to walk away from comfortable circumstances to trust a community they've never met before. And they don't know that everybody else here also had a tough thing that they had to get through to get here. So when I say y'all my family, I can't prove it to you yet, but stick around. You'll Thanks. see. I love That's it. That's where my excitement comes from. I love it. Mm-hmm. Oh, that, that was such a special day. Please this put was, that in this there. This was on stage. Yes. Oh, yeah. Please at our conference. Oh, we got to um, throw that on the, yeah. on the podcast. So, so Prince, add the picture. This is when we had a special um, prayer service for, um, for Jessica when she first told us that she was pregnant at the mastermind. And so we knew then that we had to pray for baby Abigail uh, Sophia. And so... Um, this picture here that y'all see on the screen, man, it's just that moment. And I'm believing those prayers we prayed for her yeah. still ring true today. Yeah. I can't wait to hold my God. Yeah, man. Yeah. I can't yeah. wait to hold her. She about to be spoiled rotten. I already know. He ain't lying. You better not ask Uncle Jay for <laughs> nothing. You feel me? I got all that energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes. I okay. love it. I love it. So with all this being said, what does Next Level in any facet of your life looks like for you? Hmm. Looks like excellence. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like discipline. Uh, That was actually my word for 2022 was discipline. Hmm. And so that's why it was no surprise that I was connected to Jeremy because I was like, oh, this is what discipline looks like. Hmm. Because sometimes you got to be real with yourself. Like you want certain things. Hmm. Like the fact, listen, if y'all don't follow Jeremy real close, like follow him real, real close. Yeah. Cause the fact that he has a trainer just that that just blew my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, I'm like, how is the most disciplined person on the planet <laughs> getting it? Yeah. What do he need help with? You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Like, oh, I needed her on, on our last week episode. But the, I was just talking yeah, about them buns but the and guns. The fact that you've been showing like what that process looks like mm-hmm. because people have put you on this pedestal. Mm. And you're like, no, I'm human. Facts. That's fact. Yeah. You're like, and I might be at the one percent, but right. I'm trying to get to the point zero 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 one percent. Come like, on, right. come on. You're, right. you're never complacent. Right. Yeah. Like you're allergic to mediocrity. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm. And so that pushes me. So yeah. so next yeah. level looking looks like excellence. Yeah. Right. And so the bar is set so high. Yeah. So even if I feel like I'm feeling a little bit comfortable for a half a second, yeah. I I have to think that I have to live the next level living as a actual lifestyle because the word people forget is living. They get so excited with the next level because they want to be there. But most people get to the next level, but they don't stay at the next level. Mm -hmm. And for me to really live it, that means that every day I have to wake up with intentionality so that I can be authentic to this brand. And then when you, and, and why are you being authentic to the brand? With your anointing, adding value, it just helps the strength of our movement, our ministry, our program, and then everything elevates and rises. Mm-hmm. And so, man, I'm, I'm, man, just I'm excited, man, just to see the caliber of people that God is bringing to us. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's one yeah. thing to bring on some folks that's kind of cool, but it's like, man, we're bringing on highly qualified, highly talented, highly spiritual, highly humble. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Highly efficient yeah. people who operate with a spirit of excellence. We're naturally attracting that. Right. So there are some people out here that's like, man, how come I'm only attracting this type of God? Boo boo. Mm. Don't you can't blame him. Yeah. You gotta look within. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, why am I only attracting these type of women? Okay, what places are you like? What kind of energy yeah. are you putting out here? How come I'm only attracting these type of jobs or this type of drama? It's like, okay, you gotta look at you because mm-hmm. you're the common denominator. Ooh. So when I hear, I'm gonna be honest, Jess. And I'm going to wrap it up. When you say what you say, when people call me humble, when people call me anointed, when people call me, you know, talk about the leader I am, like that stuff keeps me grounded. Most people don't go to the next level because they're focused on themselves. But I'm focused on my daughter and my family and the people on our team that need me. And so that keeps me in alignment. Like when you were saying that just now, like I was literally praying like, man, God, keep me on this track. Because I am human. Because I could fall. If I don't crucify the flesh every single day, Mm, but I realize, like, man, my anointing, my blessings is tied to other people. So if I'm caught up on some dumb stuff and I fall victim to the flesh and I start doing things the way I want to do it, it can affect so many other people and so many other households. And so it's like, man, I want to sustain this covenant, this covenant, like this blessed, this miracle territory place. But I just know it keeps me grounded. Mm. Yeah. It makes me say, okay, Jay, I can't just be out here moving however I want to move. Like, there are people that's depending on me and counting on me. So I'm constantly praying like, man, God, 
keep me focused, like keep me, you know what I'm saying, hypersensitive to your voice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like don't take your presence from me. Yeah. Cause I start doing things my way and I'm on some dodo stuff, mm. but I do it y'all ways and yeah. I'm winning. Yeah. And so oh, man, great. praise God, you know, for you just for your heart, uh, for your spirit of excellence, for you and Mikey, what y'all represent. Um, so, man, Mikey, thank you for planting the seed, bro. Now I got a goddaughter, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Baby <laughs> Abigail, Sophia, to all so the dope. prayer warriors out here that's tapped in with us, that really know how to get a prayer up, that really is anointed, that really does follow the brand, that really does believe in the power of prayer, man. Pray for Baby Abigail, yeah. Sophia. I can't wait for the day when she can leave the hospital. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait for the day. Now, anybody out here with ill intent, God going to deal with you. But you the type of person that if you listen to this podcast, yeah. we in alignment. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not even worried about that. So all our next level is out there, man. Like, keep baby Abigail, Sophia, in prayer. I can't wait for y'all to bring her home. I, 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 when you sent me that picture, I got it in my phone, uh, that little outfit. Yeah. I was just like, oh, wait till I show you the outfit, man. <laughs> but, man, praise God for you. And um, I'm excited to see what God's about to do with us in the future. It's about to get real interesting, man. Y'all stay tuned. We'll see y'all next week. I'm on another level. I'm on another level. I'm on another level.